Uh, what, what am I looking at here? Oh, a door. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Morrowind. We're up here in the Velothi Mountains, somewhere very, very high up. So high up and so cold, we should probably be wearing a hat. Now, now we're up here. I'm not quite sure where we are. We need to return somewhere to the north to, um, uh, ooh, um, Australia to deliver Urax. War Chief Urax Soul has requested in return for the Scroll of Greater Domination, which we're giving to, I think, Gindaman in the Mages Guild. I don't know, it's been so long now, I've kind of forgotten the purpose of us being here. So, can I? Just, ooh, yeah, I can. Something weird has happened because I'm still, still running in the air then. That happens sometimes on Morrowind. So we are high up in the... Oh, that looks like... Yeah, there you go. That's where we went into the goblin hideout. So I, I know where we are. And this way leads to the Dwemer Mines, where there's stuff going on. Let's go have a look. They look like Dwemer satchel charges to me. No, they're not. They're just little bundles of, like, hay or something. I don't know. Um, that looks like it's fortified from this side, doesn't it? I think that's the goblin's symbol. I think they had that scrawled inside their cave, so... This way is just going to take us to these Dwemer ruins. I'll have a look. I'm not going to go in. But there are some impressive ruins. There's a big place. Hender, Hendor Stardoms. It's a big valley with a bridge. Goes in there. Or, or there by the looks. Maybe on our way back. I feel like we're probably going to be returning this way. This seems to be the way down the mountain. But let's get back to Australia for now. If I remember, there's a there's an old collapsed bridge up here somewhere. Here we go. Yeah, this is the right way. Let's hop over here. Oh shit! Oh, that was close. Lucky, <laughs> lucky there was a little ledge by there. I must be carrying some more stuff than I was on the uh, the way down. Head up here. The Skyrim music coming on now, feeling very fitting. I've been uh, I've been missing Skyrim recently. I've had a, a full like modded install sorted for about two years now. It's probably horribly outdated at this point. I probably want to change a load of things. I did intend to play it on this channel eventually, but um, God, I don't know. The the years just fly by. Everything takes so much time. I've been playing Morrowind for ever. 
last three years, I think, on this channel. Got Oblivion I want to revisit at some point. And of course, um, Enderal I'm really keen to get back to. And New Vegas is, is going really well. I'm really enjoying that at the moment. So, huh, I don't know when I can... How I could squeeze in Skyrim as well as all of those. I will at some point, one day. Of course, um... Of course we could have a uh, Starfield on the go by the end of the year. That's exciting. I'm very concerned that my computer is not going to be able to handle Starfield. And I don't know what I don't know what I'll do if that's the case. Cuz I don't know. Use I used to feel like I could spend the same amount of money every five or so years or you know I could just upgrade my computer it'd be easily enough, easy enough or I could just spend about the same amount of money as I did last time maybe a little bit more and get a major upgrade and get a whole new system but these days it's just like so expensive anyway enough of my complaining I'll worry about that when Starfield's out Astrala, we're back. We have Urax Soul. Yes, yeah, I, I would like um, to get the Scroll of Forbidden Domination from you, if you would. Have you brought me the soul of the Goblin Warchief? Yes, I have. Then I shall uphold my end of our bargain. Take this Scroll of Forbidden Domination and use it as you see fit. Amazing. Okay, I can't ask her about anything else. She's a fascinating character. And she doesn't say much. She's mysterious. This is a cool place, though. Let's have a look at this scroll, then, that we've heard so much about. Scroll of Forbidden Domination. Command 30. And Poison on South. It's not. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Thirty points would probably command most NPCs. How much does it poison you by? Five point. That's a lot of poison damage. Yeah. Um, 60, 120, what, like 150 points of poison damage? Wonder what Ginderman wants to use it for. We might have had a clue before, but um, I can't remember now. But that's our business up in the Velothi Mountains concluded for now. I hope one day we have reason to visit Australia again. Alright, let's follow this path then and see what route down the mountain we can find. I mean, I could just hop off by here. That would... There you go. There's Uman by there. And walk back through the the Ashlands, but... I, I want to stay up here for a while. See where the path leads. I could um, swap my boots over. These ones fortify my speed a bit. Take this off for now as well. Huh. 
Oh, I know what we can do on our way back as well. We're going to Helnim. I um, I looked on the US EP and I know that might be a bit outdated perhaps for Tamriel Rebuilt. But according to the US EP, there is only one NPC on the mainland who trains Spear. And she's in the Fighters Guild. She's a Red Guard in the Fighters Guild in Helnim. So that might have changed with this recent release, I'm not sure. But that's the only lead I have. So um, we're going by Helnim on the way back. And if she won't offer me training, we're going to do some <laughs> Fighters Guild quests to get our rank up until she will. Because I'm, I'm getting good at spears. That's oh, I need to go to Uman. There's a load of stuff there. Notably, all of my spears. Oh, oh, what a pain. Okay, I'll find a way down. I'll have to find a way down and loop back. This is all very cool, isn't it? Look at this. I feel like these are some ruins we should explore one day. There's much up there, really. Where does the path go? Where does the path go? Down here? And up here? Nice little pond down there. Oh, I kind of wish we came up the, to the mountains following this path. It would have been really cool to go from the foresty regions, regions past the naked lady. The Twemer ruins, I was going to say, and then get to the snowy mountains. What's going on here? Just bathing in... Hey! You there, come closer. I don't suppose you would be interested in helping a witch? Um, maybe. I'm cold, tired and angry, so I'll be blunt. I hired a bodyguard to escort me with the intention of robbing him. Standard trick, lead him to an, to an isolated place, paralyze him, take off with his gold. But, the, but things didn't go according to plan. That brute, Fjorod must have had some sort of enchanted object causing my spell to backfire. The fetcher then had the gull to take all of my clothes and leave. So here I am, naked and paralysed. Will you help me? Uh -huh. Sure. The only way out of here is the road heading south. That's where you'll find Fjorod. If you hurry, that's where you'll find him if you hurry. I need you to get my clothes back. I had a potion that can cure paralysis in the pocket of my robes. Hopefully that idiot hasn't mistaken it for mead and drunk it. Alright. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll have a look for you. As we know, classic witch's trick here in Morrowind. I'm not sure if Siltonelli has encountered any of the naked, paralysed Nords. If we have, it's been a long time, I can't remember. Oh, well, we did definitely speak to the one in Mournhold, although he's not paralysed or he's just naked because 
because he wants to be, I think, in Mournhold, isn't he? Alright, let's keep our eyes peeled. The road south of here, she said. I'm going the wrong way. She means... She means up here. I didn't see a Nord on my way down. There's a cave there. Bellan Mine. Didn't see you guys earlier. You will not impress greatly. I've had enough of you. Oh, I might be beaten. You will suffer greatly. Die, Victor. Die, Victor. Oh, looks like the poison got one of them. I have you. Damn. They were tough. I hope the witch didn't just send me into a trap. Orvana Nerith. Some Dwemer scrap armor, yeah, cool. Common shirt. Looks quite cool with the uh, natural leather. What were you using? An iron viper slayer. Yeah, well, my sword was more poison than yours. Marad lie a bone mold. Where did they come from? They came out of this little camp by here. Not much here. Weapons, smugglers or something, and booze. Free estates, wine. Um, just want a couple of paper lanterns. Ah, uh, sure. Let's have the red ones there. They're, they're kind of neat. Well, we have a camp here if I want to stay here for the night. Let's find this Nord first and maybe uh, we can camp here this evening. Looks like our Nord. Has he been chopping down trees or maybe it was the bandits? It's a Nord with a very big sword. Always be wary. Fjorod. Tell me, High Elf, do I look good in this robe? Ha ha ha. Um, you look, you look awful. These clothes don't suit you at all. You don't hold back your words, do you? I appreciate the honesty. Look, we spoke to a witch and we said we'd help her get her robe back. What? You want to help her? That witch tried to rob me. I bet she forgot to mention that. No, she didn't actually. How did she try to convince you? Did she lie? Did she say she was the victim? Um... Actually, she was honest. She told me everything that happened. Is that so? Maybe she learned her lesson after all. Tell me, how was she? Did she sound remorseful? Uh, 
Um, she did, really. I'm sure she'll do any... I'm sure she'll never do anything like that again. I'm not sure I can trust your judgement. Well. Forward. Do I have the... Yes, I do have the charming glove. I guess she's had some time... I just did it then. I guess she's had some time to reflect. All right, I will consider this a lesson learned. You can have her clothes. I will keep her money, though. I did escort her all the way here, as she hired to do, after all. Fair enough. Cool armour. The robes fortify personality and her shoes fortify luck. Where does this go then? This might be, um... Oh, this looks like a, a cool way to get home. But I do need to get back to Uman. What a pain. Okay. Well, let's deliver the uh, potion to this witch. Camp. Camp here for the evening. And then... Uh, then I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe travel up along here. And see if there's a quick and easy way to get to Uman from down here. Hey, I'm back. I like how she is perfectly still. Completely paralyzed. Lucky, lucky you didn't fall forward into the water and drown. Uh, here you go. Did you get my clothes back? Yep. Here's your potion. Oh, thank you. I can move again. And here are your clothes. Hmm. My robe is stretched and torn, but thank you anyway. I have no gold to give you as a reward, but I can show you a few things about alteration magic. My alteration has increased by two. That's awesome. And off she goes. Into the into the lake. I guess this doesn't really count as water, does it? I don't think water walk would even work on it, would it? Yeah, that looks like this could lead back to Uman. Okay. Um. Um. I'll head back to town now. If I can. Oh yeah, okay, this kind of loops back around quite nicely. Yeah, okay, just check I'm going to the right place. Here we are. There's the Daedric Shrine in the Merc. Whoa, whoa, look at the moon. Whoa. There'll be werewolves out tonight. Where's Secunda? Not around. I honestly think the, um, the night sky on all of the Elder Scrolls games, it looks the best on Morrowind. I think the moons just look... 
really cool on Morrowind. They never look quite as good on Oblivion or Skyrim, I think. Stay here for the evening then. I should probably pay for this room again. Ah, uh, bed please. Here you go. Thank you. Alright, we'll stay here in the evening. I'll pack up as much as I can carry. I'm gonna have to leave some stuff behind. But I'll, um. Well, I'll work out what I'm gonna take and I will be right back. Okay, it's the next morning. I've gathered up what I'm going to take with me. I've, I'm leaving a lot of stuff here. I don't wanna to be too what over. What was that? Oh, I. I don't know why Shh, still an I'm speaking. I don't want to be too overburdened for the journey back, and I guess I can use this as kind of a, an outpost if I'm ever out this way again. I've left a shirt of warmth here. I, I probably won't use it otherwise unless I'm up in the mountains. I've got the ebony spear. How much? Uh, yeah, I've got loads of stuff to sell. Wait, 14. I've got a few things I want to keep. Yeah, I'm leaving everything else here. I'll take... I'll leave it. I'll leave it here. I've got more than enough to sell. I'm going to give the innkeeper some extra money so we can hold on to our items for us. Was it 10 gold a night? We'll give him like... Three hundred gold. Actually, that's quite. That's quite a lot. We'll give him like uh, just over a hundred. Thank you. I'll be back for my stuff. It better still. It better better still be there. Maybe we'll give him some more gold on our return or something. But yeah, we can. Get out of the Velothi Mountains, back to a bit of a warmer climate. It's still a bit, still a bit chilly up here. We're going into the Ashlands, so maybe let's um, put a robe on, keep the dust off us. Yeah, the first one, I think. I was half tempted to go back to that path we were following before and kind of travel along here. Which, now I'm looking at the map, yeah, I think I will, because otherwise we have to walk through a hell of a lot of Ashlands. So let's follow the path to the south. And hopefully we won't have to go through any of the Ashlands for as little as possible. There's that Dwemer ruin from yesterday. It's a big old ruin, isn't it? Now where do I go this way? I'm, I'm quite a lot slower now carrying all of this stuff, which is a bit of a pain. But I knew I'd have to lug all of this stuff back to civilization eventually. Ah, uh, 
Um, this doesn't feel familiar. Well, maybe I did come up here last night. Ah, right, okay, here's the back of the lake. And the witch has gone. I just ran straight through the lake. So I think I'm going to follow this path we were on yesterday and see if I can kind of um, follow that to the east. If it turns east at any point. Oh, the Nord's gone as well. I'm hoping the land just doesn't end on the other side of this ridge. It looks a bit suspicious, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Good. It looks like it might over there. Does it? Yes, okay, this is the edge of what is built so far. It's weird, isn't it, when you see that? That's a shame. I thought maybe I could go south a, a little bit more, like down here. Oh, I might be going into the Ashlands after all. Well, I can go. Yeah, this way. All right. This is a, still a bit more mountainy than Ashlands at the moment. This isn't really a path. That's a weird Kaguti. Yeah, here we go. What are these? It still says Velothi Mountains on my map, but um, are oh, they good? The Armen Ashlands. Here we are. What's that, a Daedric Shrine? Well, you've got... What, what was that noise? I heard that last time I was down in these Ashlands. Is it the Shrine? It's a cave up by there. Someone said, you will die. There is no escape. Oh, there you are. Sneaky. Oh, you're tough as well. My short blade is 100. Oh, here comes that. Kakuti is still coming after me. Tubalal Shadarasmu. Got a brown beetle shell fragment, some beetle resin. And Armand Kagoti hide. 
is quite good. Quite good effects on that. I'm a bit afraid of this thing. You weren't expecting that, were you? Ow. A tough thing. These are high level areas, aren't they? These Ashlands and the Velothi Mountains. What do I want to do? Do I want to explore some Daedric places? What am I looking at in here? I can hear something. It's a hunger. It's nearly invisible. Not always like that. I don't want to fight a hunger. It's going to ruin all my weapons. My sword, my sword is nearly broken as it is. Damn. I've still got this goblin sword, luckily. Or this saint's black sword, which will heal, probably heal people more than it will hurt them. Yeah, okay. I'll leave that ruin for another day then. Hey, did that guy I... Ah, uh, the hunger's still coming after me. Fantastic civilization. Is this a town? There's a hunger coming, by the way. It's a bit hard to see. The gate to Oraleth Woods remains closed for now. Oh, this is. Oh, look, I've just looked at the map. This is going south. Help me out here. Die, damn you! Go on, you've got him. I'll leave those two to sort it out. He'll be okay. Okay, I wasn't looking at where I was going on the map. I was just following a path blindly, but yeah, I'm way too far south. I need to go this way somehow. I suppose I can just cross across country for a while. It's all pretty flat out here. been using that earlier. I do think I'm going to have to get rid of the Amulet of Renting though, I think it's too powerful. There's an Ashlander camp up there, or an Ashlander I saw. Prefer not to bother him. Let's leave the locals alone as much as I can. I don't know what game this song's from. I don't recognise it. But I added it to Morrowind, so I must know it from somewhere. A Velothi Tower? Ooh. 
you die. Now, Falothi Towers are always interesting, because there's normally a weird mage or something living in them. I might have a look, see if I can find a replacement weapon for the way home. Have a torch? I'm sure it picked up some torches, yeah. Good old bone pit. Maybe a, a prison of some sort. Let's go have a look. Maybe a living skeleton to go with it? No. Well, someone likes... Oh! What? Oh, no! Ah! Oh, my God! Just stand still! Oh, no. Combat skeleton. I think you're bleeding. Come on. Oh, oh, no. Don't get punched. Probably the goblin sword's going to do more damage at this point. Loads more damage. How much does this do? Not much. God, that other sword must be doing practically nothing. Maybe this isn't like a really high level area and I've just been using a sword which is dealing like one point of damage this whole time. But I did not know skeletons could get up like that. It's terrifying. Are you dead? He's dead. Corpse preparation. I feel like this might be a necromancer's tower. Yeah. Oh, wonder if you had a rapier. That's a long sword, isn't it? It's an iron saber. I want something better than that. What do you have there? Come on. Steel short sword. No, thank you. Oh, hello. I should have killed you sooner. Summoning a winged twilight is pretty uh, intimidating. Ah, oh, sound spell. Your skills fail. Is that a Daedric axe? Go away, go away. That was a bound axe, surely. Just die. And by that I mean die again. Oh, bloody hell. Steel Wakazashi, 616. Wait. Yeah, that'd be cool. I think that's just going to be better in every way. Steel Dagger. Yes, she just bound a, a Daedric axe. Didn't seem to be very good with it either. Rusana Borak. Is this your tower? 
Or do you just work here? Hanging the skulls or something. Oh, hi. This is going to be fun. Don't summon a... Oh. They're, they're Daedra worshippers then, I suppose. Seem to be doing a lot of summoning. Thal. Silver dagger. Okay, the quality of equipment is steadily increasing. Here we go again, I guess. Cool, that, that was good. I think he got poisoned by his own Daedroth then. The Battle of Molag Beran. A uh, Dunmer traditional ballad. I'll have that. Yeah, so these are just like a, a gang of Daedra worshippers, I suppose. Probably doing someone's job for them. The temple probably would want to come here and clear them out. I was hoping this was like a single necromancer's tower. Or like just a wizard or something. Goes up to the dome. Alright, let's kill this guy first. If I can. You That's all you've got. Time to finish this. Whew, that was close. I'm getting absolutely battered. Come on. Come on. Come on. I think I'm out of healing charges. That's your best, Todd. Maybe one left in there. Charge three out of two hundred. I don't know how much I use each time. Maybe only one. Rising force. Well, we might as well go up to the top level and see who lives. It's got the sixth barrier. I could, have, could use something like that. A couple of cells here. Whoever these people are, they are. Well, Morand is probably better off, better off with them dead. Use that scroll of sixth barrier. Someone's got some cool armor. Oh, come on. She's still chasing me. Is it just her? And her clan fear, who's on strike. Good clan fear. I'm slowly making friends with... It's over for you! Oh, clan fear. Oh, no. Ouch. Okay, I think she's wasted all of her magic. 
cool armor. It's over for you! You'll soon be nothing more than a bad memory. I can't heal her. She can. But we're down to just whacking each other at this point, so I think I've, I think I've got this. Come on. You will die in disgrace. Maybe, but not today. Neri of King's Grave. Who the hell are you? Gold armor helmet. Gold dagger. Expensive shoes. Yeah, the the whole the whole look you've got going on is quite cool. Ah, she's a high elf. Bit undignified, but uh, quite liked her style. Might go for something like that one day. So I think we can be pretty sure this is. She's a necromancer of some sort. Plain paper. I was hoping to find like a note or a little story about who these people are. I don't think I'm going to. What's the gold armor? Is that light or heavy or, or what? It's medium. Probably not very good armor being gold. The Mistress Act 3, Scene 2. This is a play. Bit of trashy reading for Nary of King's Grace. I wonder who that is. A, sounds like an important title. I hope we haven't killed someone very important. Scroll of the Argent Glow. I can't remember what that does, but I will have it. Torches run out. Elemental burst fire on oblivion, changed words, and system. Uh, varieties of thought. I don't recognize um, the name, but maybe I do already have that. Visions of the dead, mysticism. Can see? Yeah. Standard necromancer kind of books. Darkest darkness, yeah. Nothing on that corpse. Well, nothing... Nothing much here, apart from the gold helmet, which is very rare. I don't, I, I'd have no idea where else to get one. I'm a bit disappointed. I guess we can rest in, in here until morning. It is evening now. Oh wow, did it Did it get lighter in here? I think it did. That's really cool, but I guess because it's a dome and this is one big window, they've separate that's why it's in a separate cell, I was wondering. So it can use like the, the daylight lighting. Yeah, it's way lighter in here now. This was this would make a good hideout, wouldn't it? Although this looks this looks lighter as well now. Maybe I'm just imagining it. All right. right. Oh my god, it's late. <laughs> I say this every time when I'm recording. I always look at the time and I'm amazed at how late it is. And half the time I've only been recording for like an hour. But I think this has actually been quite a while. Dead Gua over there. Killed by some of the... Uh, 
Armin Kaguti. Investigate that next time. I'm gonna have to leave it there though for today. It's um yeah, definitely. Next time we'll continue trekking through the Ashlands trying to trying to get home. Once we hit civilization though, it shouldn't be too hard. We can start fast traveling and stuff then and head over to Halnim and then back to Firewatch. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!